the factor theorem says that x minus a is a factor of f of x if and only if f of a is 0. Now, what that means is that we have a logical equivalence between these two statements. So if we know that x minus a is a factor of f of x, then f of a is 0. So if I substitute a in, I get 0. So let's say, for example, x minus 2 is a factor. Then I know if I substitute in positive 2 into the function, I will get 0. Conversely, if you know that f of a is 0, so if you know that when I substitute in 5, I get 0 at the end of it, then I know that x minus 5 will be a factor of f of x. So let's say I've got this function here. f of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x minus 6. So what I would do is I would substitute numbers in, and if I got 0, then I know that I've found a factor. So what numbers to try? Well, you would only bother trying numbers that multiply to make minus 6. So factors of minus 6. Okay, so 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, uh, 6, or minus 6. Okay, there'd be no point in trying 5, or 0, or 100, or whatever, because it event ultimately those numbers need to multiply together to make that minus 6, if I've got it in factorised form. So if I try f of 1, I get 1 cubed, take away 7 lots of 1, take away 6. 1 takes 7 is minus 6, take away 6 is minus 12. That's not 0. So therefore, x minus 1 is not a factor of f of x. So next up, try the next easiest, so minus 1. So minus 1 cubed, take away 7 lots of minus 1, take away 6. So that's minus 1 plus 7, so that gets me 6. Take away 6 is 0. So, therefore, x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. Brilliant. So now that you've found a factor, and consequently we found the root, x equals minus 1 is the root, or a root rather, of this function. So x plus 1 is a factor of this function. Then you can use polynomial division to find what you're left with. So will the next bit factorise? So x plus 1 down the left-hand side. Now we want x cubed, so that would be x cubed. So we'd have x squared there, so that's 1x, 1x squared. I don't need any x squared, so I need to take away an x squared there. x is into that go minus x. Minus x times 1 is minus x. I don't need minus x, I need minus 7x. So I'm going to have to subtract another 6x. X is into that go minus 6. Minus 6 times 1 is minus 6. So minus 6 is precisely what I want. So there's no remainder as we expected. So that means f of x can be written as x plus 1 times x squared minus x minus 6. Now this is a quadratic I can factorise. So that's x minus 3, x plus 2. So you can see the factor theorem enabled us to find one of the factors and then we could use polynomial division to find the rest. Okay, So in certain circumstances, for certain polynomials, if they have um, a factor that works for this, then we should be able to get to the next stage. Okay, This is how we use the factor theorem.